Hello yeah, there chaps and welcome to the show. Now, the XPS 15 has come on the Dell's website now. So you lucky guys in the US, you can order the XPS 15 now. It's not on the Australian sites yet. That's Australia, of course, always last. But let's have a look at the configurations. Now, starting at 999, of course, with the i3. And now the 999 model obviously has a mechanical hard drive and it has 1080p screen the next model up has well i'm not going to go through all the models you can check them out yourself but what i don't see here is fingerprint scanner i don't see any models with the fingerprint scanner go to the next page and you would think it'll be on the most expensive model here which tops out at 2499 which is still good value when you compare it to the mac and that has 32 gigs and Again, I cannot see fingerprint scanner. So it looks like they've taken the fingerprint scanner part off. Or maybe I've just skipped over it. I'm not sure. But that to me is okay. As long as they're releasing it now and, you know, they come with a fingerprint scanner option later, that's fine. Probably was a last minute thing once Apple released their macbook pro with a fingerprint scanner they probably thought oh we better put one in and it's probably a last minute addition and maybe they're ready to go without the fingerprint scanner now and they'll add that later it's not a deal breaker for me I, it's great to have windows hello don't get me wrong but um i still will order one without one that's for sure i'm not i'm not too concerned about the fingerprint scanner there so the model i recommend and this is if you want to upgrade is this model here and if they have this model in australia i'll be definitely getting this and it's the 1599 us one and it has eight gigabytes of ram and it has a 256 ssd and it has the 4k screen it has the big battery and it has the gtx 1050 graphics card now why i buy this one is because i'm going to upgrade the ram I'm going to upgrade the SSD. I'm going to put my choice of SSD, which will be a 960 Evo or 960 Pro, because they're super fast. They'll be faster than the one that Dell ships it with, and I'll be getting some crucial memory. So 32 gigs of crucial memory I'll put in there. And as you can see here, it has 2,400 megahertz DDR memory. So that's one thing it has over the old one. The old one had 2,100 megahertz. So what's missing here is actually the 512 gigabyte model. Ship dates, as you can see here, it has a ship date of the 2nd of the 2nd, 2017, or 16 to 20 business days. Now 16 to 20 business days is pretty much the same as the 2nd of the 2nd, and possibly another extra week. Sorry for the plane, but yeah, what can I do? So they should start shipping early, February into the first week, maybe the second week of February. So there you have it guys, it's up if you're in the US, definitely order it now. And hopefully this comes out in Australia very soon. I'll just check the Aussie site. Uh, no, she's not up in the Aussie site. No new one yet. Okay, so we're stuck with the old one. Um, hopefully it comes out in Australia within 24 hours definitely be ordering it yeah as i said there's no 512 gigabyte model so there is a 512 gigabyte full hd model here that's a full hd is it yeah that's not touch enabled that's full hd there's a terabyte and another terabyte model here there's no 512 4k version at the moment so you can hear my son there so at the moment you cannot get a 512 gigabyte 4k version which is strange i don't know if they're trying to do that so you have to opt for the higher model there but anyway this is the one i'm going to get definitely hopefully they have this 1599 hopefully that's under three grand in australia and eight gigabytes 256 ssd and definitely subscribe to the channel because i'll be upgrading that i'll show you how to install windows i'll show you how to upgrade it ram the ssd and yeah see you next time guys tally ho